plastics have an essential role in our daily lives. They protect our products, enable more efficient transport and contribute to food waste reduction. But in Europe, we consume more than 56 million tons of plastics every year and produce 24 million tons of plastic waste per year. Most of our plastics waste is not recycled as 39% ends up in landfills, 35% is incinerated and only 26% is collected for recycling. Additionally, 50% of all the collected plastics waste is exported outside the EU. This means that we lose valuable resources in Europe and recycle as little as 3.5 million tonnes. As a result, only 4% of the European demand for plastics comes from the recycling stream. Moving towards a circular economy generating less waste will be beneficial for broadening the industrial basis of Europe and will decisively contribute to attaining the objective of climate change mitigation. This policy will contribute to promote efficient use of resources and will help to improve the competitiveness and profitability of the European industry. The investment environment for the plastics recycling industry will have to undergo important changes to achieve ambitious recycling targets. The available recycling technology will have to be upscaled. The authorities will have to balance energy recovery and recycling in a prudent way, so as to give full effect to the waste hierarchy. An EU commodity market for waste will have to be built up. Standardization in waste collection, sorting and recycling will have to be developed. The quality of recycled plastics will have to further match customers' requirements. Many questions must be answered. What's the needed investment to recycle more? Can we modernize or adapt existing plants? Even though the challenge is important, solutions are on the market. The Remix project, financed by the European Commission, looked into the available technologies to overcome the existing technological barriers of recycling mixed plastics and especially waste from electric and electronic equipment. Thanks to advanced sorting and extrusion technologies, the project managed to create material with similar properties to virgin plastics. Europe is lacking resources to supply our industry and is obliged to import most of the raw materials to produce plastics. By moving towards the circular economy for plastics, Europe will reduce both its environmental impact through considerable GHG savings and its raw material dependency, whilst also creating more than 120,000 green jobs. The Commission's investment plan would unlock public and private investments in the field of circular economy by using part of the 315 billion euros available over the next three years. Circular economy is the answer to sustainable plastics production and consumption in Europe.